Nebraska travels to Colorado. And for the casual listeners or the people under 25, y'all, this was once a heated, bitter rivalry, but conference realignment ruined that for us, which it's going to continue to do going forward. With that said, the national conversation now, after Colorado comes off of that 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 close win over upsetting TCU, who's now ranked the number twenty two Colorado Buffaloes, yeah. This conversation is totally different. You might as well take our first time we covered this. This Colorado team and just throw it away. It means nothing. Pulse it. Delete the episode, right? It's it's done because Pulse. what's the um who was the old Vikings coach who who gave the famous line? They are who we thought they were. Oh well, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. They are not who we thought they were. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh, they're going to be entertaining to watch. You made a great point in in our phone call earlier. This is probably a team that we just need to cover from here on out. Just keep so. a clo- close eye on because uh, it, it's just going to be wild for them going forth. <laughs> Nebraska had the extremely disappointing yet another close loss to Minnesota. They had <clears throat> they had winning or the success, the win in their hands, let it go to the Golden Gophers and PJ Flick, 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 whatever his name is, Sky Uma, row the boat, whatever, all that stuff. (laughs) Here we are. Let's see if we can find the line here. This is a little low, in my opinion. Over under is set at 59 and a half. That's a little high. And then Colorado minus three. Hit me with your best shot. Boy, 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 we we are. We're going to have to talk about Colorado, I think, weekly until they give us reason not to at this point because I still can't get past that game in, in week one down in uh, at, at TCU. Yeah. I'm with you. Uh, 59 and a half seems high because to me, to me and, and I'm not saying they couldn't do it, but it feels like Colorado would have to do the heavy lifting there, man. It really does. Yes, after agreed. Nebraska's agreed. offense. Now, now, credit to Nebraska's defense. They, I mean, they held tough until – Again, they held tough until they basically couldn't anymore, and their offense until they did so many bad spots. Mm-hmm. Um, so perhaps they're better defensively than we thought they were. You know, perhaps they've they've got a couple pieces that I liked watching them against Minnesota, rooting for them against Minnesota. But I'm going to go under yet again. Mm-hmm. I just again, I think it's too much heavy lifting for either Mr. Sims at quarterback for Nebraska, who I don't know how he'll keep that job after watching Week One, um, or for Colorado. I just think it's too much heavy lifting one way or the other. I don't I don't like that number. I'm going to go under if I bet that. But, my God, I'm going to put my house and my cars and, yet again, everything I own on Colorado to cover three points. I mean, oh, for sure. what in the world does Vegas know? Because they also host this game. I mean, three points at home is all they're yeah. getting yeah. after doing what they did. And the crowd's going to be on fire. The, the tickets are around $400 fire. for nosebleeds. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be on fire. The place is going to be jumping especially if they do – I mean, if they do anything, first drive or first – whether it's, they can get a defensive stop and the place is going to burn down after after last week. I just – that's a number where I'm asking what the world does Vegas know that, that we may not. Um, but, again, I'm going to ride with that. I'm putting I'm putting a lot of stuff on it uh, that, that they'll cover. A, well, they have to win by four, but, my gosh, I think they'll win by 21 or 28 at this point. Not really yeah. thinking too much about it. So, yeah, Nebraska covers, but I think I'll take the under. If you're Nebraska, which I have two questions I'm for sorry. you. Colorado coverage, my bad. I, somehow that's what I heard. Two yeah. questions for you. First question, what does Nebraska have to do in order to win this game? Second question, how important is it that Colorado steps on Nebraska's throat, you know, for national media purposes, the devastating loss that Nebraska had, the big win that Colorado had? What do you think? Man, to, to answer your second question first, I think I think that's what they're going to try to do. A part of me worries that Colorado could be flying too high, uh, and maybe that's what Vegas is looking at with that with that only being a three point line. I don't think that's in Dion's nature, man. I mean, I don't I don't think that's in his nature at all. I don't think he can get enough success right now to to please him alone. And I think his team kind of carries that based on how they looked in week one. We'll see again because because it is a long season. What was your first question again? What's Nebraska's game plan? What do they have to do in order to win this game? Boy, man, I, I guess, I guess you just you're going to try to run Sims until his legs fall off. That's what you're I was going to say. Pray 
and beg that you can win the line of scrimmage with your defense at least and and really pressure Sh- Shador Sanders, not allow them to get anything going offensively. You better pray and, and find ways to create some turnovers because momentum will be key. Just like we said, I think, you know, they win the kick, they win the toss, and, and the place is going to burn down from, from momentum out there at Colorado. I don't know, man. It's it's a huge, huge ask for Nebraska at this point. Is I just don't I don't like anything about it. I totally agree. Run Sims until his legs fall off. Get get dynamic in the play calls for him to take off running. It's got to be more than just you know QB draws. Some things that, that they tried to do against Minnesota. You need to run some uh, 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 counter traps designed for the QB on um, all kinds of stuff. Get him yeah. going. Get him going early. Let him get into a rhythm. Let him get into a feel for the game. I don't like it. I think Colorado, the state, is going to be on fire. That that yeah. uh, again, we we we've already referenced the ticket sales. Even if Nebraska can successfully pull that off and run him well, let's say he runs for plus two hundred. If you just take a glance at the total yards from last week. <laughs> Where Nebraska only put up 295 against Minnesota and Colorado hung 565 on TCU. Right. I just think at this point, until we see something different out of Nebraska, similar to the to, to the Texas conversation, until we see something different, I think this could get ugly for Nebraska. Yeah. I'm going to take the under because, again, I think it's going to be too much to ask Colorado to. I mean, you're you're going to, they're going to be carrying what eighty percent, ninety percent of the weight, right? To, yeah. to to supersede that. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take the under, and I'm going to take Colorado to do more than cover. Just to put it nicely, yeah. I think it's way more yeah. than three. So yeah, that, I just we'll we'll see what Vegas knows there. It's really confusing, but way too low it seems. The only thing that I want to see once this game is over and Colorado fans have stormed the field, just like when Tennessee fans stormed, uh, you know, the the field after Tennessee's game-winning field goal over Alabama, Dixieland delight, you know, rain through the ears of the people. I want to hear guy on a buffalo <laughs> after Colorado beats down Nebraska. Yes, give me that. Give me. Colorado, guys on the Buffalo, by hunting.